All right, folks, you should have some Visual Studios installed or something similar. In today's program, what we're going to do is create our first project and add our first source file so that we can learn how to output some things. Um, to start, you should open your Visual Studios. Um, Community 2015 should give you a page something like this. Um, I try not to rely on some of these things that show up as soon as you start the program where they're cool little convenient buttons because you never know if you want to do some of this stuff while getting to Visual Studios from a different platform. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, New Project, or you can hit Control shift n um, It looks like the menus aren't going to show up here, um, but you can trust that I'm going to File, New Project, or hitting Control shift n which loads this pretty little window here. Now, I've optimized my 2015 for C++, so you can see it immediately went to Visual C++ for me. If you have some other things installed, maybe it doesn't do that for you, that's okay. Um, just make sure you click on Visual C++. Then you should also click on Win32 console application, if that's not already selected. Scroll down to name, give your project a name. Um, I'm going to call this learning to output. You can call it whatever you want, call it hello world if you want, we're going to do something slightly different. And I'm also going to move this, well, I think I'll leave this in my documents folder. It's important to, to recognize and note where your location is um, in case you ever need to get back to your files, in case you need to get to your source files to hand them in to homework to me, for example, um, or to upload them to yourself to save them to work on them later or in class or something like that. Um, so it's important to note where your files are going to be. Um, so this is our project. We'll click OK. Um, at this point, we have the ability to change some application settings. So you can click Next or click on Application Settings. Select Empty Project. That's the kind of project we want in this class. And then click Finish. And when you're done, you should be given this window, which is ready to, to add some source code. So at this point, we've created a project. We don't have any source code. Um, in order to add a source file, source code file, you can right click on source files. Again, it doesn't look like my menus are going to show up. And then go to add new item. Or you can hit control shift A. And that'll pop up yet another window where we can type some things. You want to make sure again that it's Visual C++ and a C++ file here. And I'm going to rename my source. Instead of source.cpp, I'm going to rename it hero.cpp. Okay. Then I'm going to click the Add button. And what that should do is add hero.cpp to my Learning to Output program. Um, I'm going to make this slightly bigger so that you guys can have a better time reading it. But at this point, what we're going to do is write the shell that we're going to use for most of our console C++ applications. The first thing that's going to show up is the pound include IO stream. You see that. Next, that, that's going to allow us to do the output to the console. The next thing we're going to do is make it a little bit easier on ourselves by typing using namespace standard, which will allow us not to have to put the standard keyword in front of everything that we type. Um, and every C++ program is going to have a main. And so int main is going to show up here. I can make this a little bit bigger. I thought I did this. There we go. Bigger. All right, so in here is where we're going to write whatever we want to type for our output. So you might type, hey, I'm in need of some heroes. And whatever you type here is going to show up on the console. It begins with a C out, which stands for console out. It has two less thans, which are the streaming output operator, followed by some string and quotation marks. Um, this is just learning to write our first program, so, so we're not doing anything crazy here. We're just writing some text. You can write hello, um, Ramsey, or something like that if you want to. Um, and then two more less thans to allow me to check something else, which is endl, which is, stands for end line. Anyway, all this put together is my first program. I can hit control S to save it, which changes yellow to green. I can compile it. Um, by going to debug, start without debugging. That will force it to build. I like mine to go ahead and build automatically every time I run that. And then runs and pops up, hey, I'm in need of some heroes. Press any key to continue. Now if you look, you actually can't look. But I started without debugging, which is control F5. Um, 
that's because that gives me a free pause at the end of the console output. You can start with debugging, but your program will just open and then immediately close. All right, that is pretty much the end of our writing our first program in C++. You should try it out, try some different output, see if you can't get some other things to show up, um, and I'll see you next time.